Welcome to Huawei Cloud South Africa Demo Center. Today, I will show you how to build an intelligent platform. When migrating your workloads to Huawei Cloud, you can choose from its wide range of services to monitor your infrastructure. You can even get more insights by applying machine learning techniques to this data. Let me show you the first scenario of triggering automatic alarms to your team collaboration tool such as Slack. Two teams involved in the story on Slack channel, IT operation team, application team. IT operation team is responsible for setting up alarms and metrics. We will simulate a function call error and this error will be monitored by Cloud I service and Cloud I will send this message to notification service SMN topics, which then trigger a function that can automatically raise an alarm on Slack channel by Slack webhook integration and finally application team can receive the alarm accordingly and deliver the further problem resolved let's move to huawei cloud console and check with the predefined serverless function that will generate an error Click empty and test function, you will see the detailed source code of the function and it's easy to understand. Moving to cloud eye service here, showing you the alarm definition, which means that the error generated by the serverless function. Then, Cloud I service will accumulate the number of errors to turn out alarms. This Cloud I alarm will link to notification service. Click on the SMN topic name and you will be navigated into SMN console. Then please look at its definition. You can add a subscription by different receiver. For example, sending out notifications by email, short message, or functions. Here, we build up functions as a receiver. Let's navigate to function definition. Click Slack notifier. Here showing you the source code of how to integrate Huawei Cloud Serverless service with Slack by Slack webhook. We define a Slack data as request body. Channel name is what we created in Slack channel before. Okay, let's simulate an alert by predefined function. When I click test, you will see the error catch. Let's generate more errors.
Go to Cloud Eye Console to see the errors. Open Slack channel to see the notification received by Slack bot. Let's generate more errors to check the results in Slackbot. Now, let's move to the second story. Within this demonstration, you will see how to set up a chat op solution on Huawei Cloud Conversational Bot Service CBS, Serverless Function and Cloud Container Engine CCE. This chat ops bot will help you manage whole lifecycle of Kubernetes cluster hosted on Huawei Cloud Service instead of human O&M. Huawei Cloud Conversational Bot Service CBS is an out-of-box AI service with machine learning features. By manual texting, you just define your ops flow, input output and train the data. Then you will get the results on fly. Huawei Cloud CBS has a lot of built-in connectors with other Huawei Cloud services and it's easy to set up. This is an architecture design and let's see how to set up this environment from scratch. First of all, let's go to serverless function to see the source code and API integration with Huawei Cloud Container Engine. Here, you will see the function of creating the CCE cluster, get the cluster status, delete CCE cluster, create CCE nodes, get node status, delete nodes, get kubernetes namespace and get kubernetes events. Let's drill down to the first function and check its source code. Here is a very simple code block by python to invoke the CCE API. Let's see another similar function called fgs get cce node which is used to get cce cluster status. Navigate to Huawei Cloud Conversational Bot Service. There, we defined one bot instance called MTN Chat Ops Demo already. Drilling down further will show you the dashboard, call history, status of the bot instance. Here, I'm showing you the definition of mutual texting pairs. We define the category called help, which will initialize the dialog.
You can deliver real time with this bot by clicking start dialog. You can type with different text to see how the responses from the bot are. For example, you typed hello and there is no response. You say how are you, then it's touching the definition in backend. If you type help, it can start your chat ops flow. Let's check the settings option for customization. Click on skill to define the chat flow and train your flow. For example, you clicked on dialog flows. You will see the flow map that I created for this chat flow. Within this chat flow, you can see different node by request, reply, conditions, etc. You can open each of the node to see how to define the input, output and how to invoke serverless functions as well. After that, we can see the out of box AI service by navigating model training and publishing. You can train your chat flow here after you define or change the dialog flows. You can customize it precisely by data training. Let's start a trial dialog flow. Type create cluster in the input area. Wait a moment. You will see the response from the bot saying that it will help you to create a CCE cluster automatically. Let's see the CCE console. It's creating the cluster and it will take some time. Type get cluster in the input area and you will see its status and you will also see the cluster getting created. Type get cluster again 
you will see the cluster is available and ready to use. Now let's type create node. Wait a moment. Bot will reply to you and it will help you to create node within the CCE cluster. Now let's go to the CCE console again to check the nodes and it will show you that it's creating the node instead of a human. Type get node to see node creation status. Finally, you will see that the node is ready and in available status. You will see the cluster events or exceptions by typing get logs. Type get namespace and you will see how many predefined namespaces are within this CCE cluster. Now you can delete this cluster directly by typing delete cluster and bot will reply to you that this cluster is getting deleted. You can also double check this on CC console for cluster status. It shows you that no cluster is available anymore. Let's recap. Huawei Cloud offers a lot of out of box AI cloud services and platforms for you to design your intelligent system which can release human resources from operations and management. The auto machine learning feature will help you train your data easily. So guys, Huawei Cloud is a great place to build intelligent platforms. For other features and introductions, please look out for more demo videos. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Cheers.